Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday. <laughs> I had full intentions of doing my top 10 lipsticks today, but one, I've run out of time, and two, I, I got hung up with, I couldn't decide if you guys wanted me to do top 10 that I'm using right now, you know, 10 if somebody told me I could only have 10 lipsticks for the rest of my life, or 10 all-time favorite lipsticks. So let me know which one you want that to be because they're different. I mean, because if I did the ones that I'm wearing right now, you know, my top 10, which I do seem to go to the same ones all the time right now, you know, like I don't really wear rose amethyst as much anymore, but I would hate to, if it was an all-time thing, I would want to keep that there. So you know how that goes. But um, I did, you know, incorporate my red, my colors, and stuff like that. But anyway, but I just wanted to do, I wasn't even planning on doing a video. I was going to just rush right out. But as I put my ring on, I was wondering if any of you guys saw Camille Grammer last night on, oh gosh, Watch What Happens Live on Bravo. She had this ring on, and somebody wrote in and asked her where she got it, and she said Anthropology. And I just happened to remember that they sell Dean Davidson. So I was so excited for him that he got, I wish that she would have known that it was his, but anyway, and then I've had people ask me, and this is his bracelet here that goes with it, and I've had people ask me about these Buddha Girl bracelets that I bought, and see, they're, they're squishy, they're kind of, um, I don't know what's in there, it's almost like a tube, and I love them. Now, this is only going to be the third time that I've worn them. So, you know, I don't know how they're going to wear, but they're supposed to be like shower. I think, I think they say shower proof. I thought they would be neat if any of you are young. And I remember the day where I worried about what bathing suit I had on, you know, when I was going to like the pool or we were, we would always go on the boat and everybody would meet over at this island. And so, you know, you would see just like everybody. And if you're doing something like that and you wanted to wear cool jewelry or something, I think this would be cool to wear because you can get it wet and it doesn't, it's soft. Like it's just one of those pieces that I like, kind of like my Jenny Bird chain fringe cuff. It's got a lot of show, but it's not real uncomfortable. It's not one of those things that you cannot wait to take off when you get in the door. And, um, of course, my earrings are like that, too. These are the Sheila Fajal, and these are the brushed gold. I have these, the gold ones, the silver ones, and more of the rose gold ones on the way. So we had to wait for more of these to be made. I believe everything's made in Brazil. I'm not sure about that, but I think so. And I had someone ask me if I could compare the weight of these to another pair of hoops. And I, when I couldn't get these... I tried and tried to find something like this, and they're just, I have never found anything that is as big as these and is as light. I mean, they do not, I don't know if you can tell, but they just don't pull on your ear. They're so light, they get, and <laughs> they get twisted around by your hair. But I don't know if you can see that they just don't pull on my ear at all. And um, so I really do like them. And um, I'm just gonna do a quick, non-eventful outfit of the day and let you guys go and hopefully I will see you maybe tomorrow with my top 10 and I am going to do a tutorial soon too oh I'm glad I thought about that um you guys liked my iPad and I realized I had it turned like that because the camera is on you know it's shaped like this where the camera is like right here so I turned it so that my camera is where I'm used to it okay if I turn it sideways then the camera is over here and I can't figure out but it's backwards. Seems like if I look over here, it looks like I'm looking over there. Anyway, if any of you are used to using it that way, tell me where I need to look. Do I just need to look in the center? I need to play around with it tonight and see, but I think tonight we ship, and I think, I th think tonight's... By the time I do dinner, Will requested lasagna tonight. By the time I do dinner, ship packages and everything, I forget about... I don't think about YouTube until I get back in the bed or something, you know, later on. But um, so anyway, if anybody's used it that way, tell me where I need to look because I like to be able to look at you. And I don't I want to look at about me. the big dark elephant in the room. This is our new sofa it's thing over there on her regular bed. But it's just a big leather, um, it's kind of like a sectional. I guess it's like a couch, a three section couch with like a chase lounge thing at the end. And this is just a little 
blanket I've got on there to let them cozy up with. And we gave the other two to one of our favorite waitresses at one of our Mexican restaurants. She came and picked them up yesterday. And um, I'm eventually going to get rid of that chair. The cats have destroyed that chair. And luckily, they still seem to be gravitating towards that chair. But I want to get something, um, probably a big oversized chair, maybe with an ottoman, I don't know, um, and maybe some type of color or print. I'm not sure. Um, so I've got on just this big, you know, flowy type top that I got at um, Target last year. No belt because I don't really have There's one to match the casual shoes. Look. But these are the um, Rag and Bone Harrow, not Harrow, um, Newberry booties. And if I had to say, um, oh gosh, I like the red ones or the reddish brown ones too. So I just love these. I really want to get some of the canvas ones for summer because I love the way boots look with a dress or a skirt or shorts. Um, and these are just really, really, really comfortable. Um, and the bag I am carrying is my blue Cobalt Balenciaga with the, um, you never can see it, but it's so pretty, the rose gold hardware. And this is one of my, of course, all time favorite bags John got for the me. The Stella Falabella bag it got sent back. And it's not that it was not a good bag. Matter of fact, when I, if I were to do it over again, my um, Alexander Wang Rocky or Rocco bag that was so heavy, I would um, not get rid of that. I would just not use it as often because it's so heavy, but I loved that bag. And, um, but you know, I can always get another one. It's no big deal. But the Stella bag was heavy, really heavy. And because you had to wear it on your shoulder, it was so sloppy and slouchy. I didn't like the way when I took it in the post office, which is a big thing for me because I go every day and I set my purse on the counter to fill out my customs forms. It usually takes me like 30 minutes. It would just, I mean, just slouch all over the counter and just spill everywhere. I couldn't really work out of it, like grab a pen, grab my wallet. Um, when it was in the seat beside me, I couldn't, I mean, even some hobo bags and stuff have enough body to them that you can set them down and kind of open them up. And it wasn't like that. So it was heavy, it was too sloppy, and it had no good pockets. It only had like one pocket in there. And, you know, I'm just so used to, the Balenciagas are just so, they're just like the perfect amount of slouchy and soft but yet they have that pocket on the outside, the pocket on the inside, the handles are so nice. It does have another handle if you ever do want to put it on your shoulder that I thought, gosh, that bag was $1,100 and it just, to me, was not worth it. If it was $4.95, like a um, Rebecca Minkoff bag or something, more of a, still a high-end bag, but that was just a lot. So I sent it back and I exchanged it for, I exchanged it for a Balenciaga clutch. Got that and it just didn't thrill me at all. I did not like it even as much as my Rebecca Minkoff clutches. To me, they're the best. The MAC 3-Zip are the best if you're gonna get a clutch that's really usable. And so I'm waiting on a new bag. It should be here probably tomorrow or Thursday. She sent it out yesterday. And I wanna tell you who I've been working with too because I have gotten the best old-fashioned sales help I have gotten I think ever the last time I ordered my Alexander Wang and my Balenciaga I had salespeople at Barney's that really didn't care if I called them or not they did not call me back they didn't care they just basically all they wanted to do was just take my information and send me the bag well Anita at the Nordstrom in she Naples has done Florida so, where she has been so patient she has emailed or texted me pictures of all kinds of bags. It was like I was shopping right there in her store. And um, so I will put her information, um, I'll put her information tomorrow or the next day or Friday when I show you the bag, but she is awesome. She even sent me a catalog and she said anything that I want to order, I can order through her. And you know, she can get it to me, I think probably quicker than I can just ordering online. So, and I like to, 
I don't know, I really like to, I come from a family of salesmen and I like that. I like to deal with a person and then they get to know you, what you like, and it's just a lot more fun to me to, to work with someone. So, um, so I've told you about all my accessories. Oh, this is a new nail polish. I just bought it yesterday and I don't have it out here. I'll show it to you on Friday again, but it is the Clinique for sensitive skin. And this color is called um, something buff. I'll put the name down here, but it is beautiful. Now this is not the type of nail polish that somebody's gonna say, oh, your nail polish is so pretty. You know, what are you wearing? But it's the type that makes your fingernails look pretty and your hands look pretty. And my nails, of course, um, I don't know if you can see it, but see they're going through that grow out phase from having those, um, you can see to about right there, where I put the artificial nails on and um, so they're not they're bumpy and not so pretty and this just makes them look when I first put it on I called Brooke in my room I said look Brooke it makes them look like because she's always envious she's got the longest most beautiful nails but she's still envious of those girls that get gel or the shellac nails and but she will not even let you touch her nails so there's no way she'd get so, it anyway but she's always kind of envious of that look and so i said look brooke you can put this on and it's going to look like you have gel nails on because it or the acrylic almost it's just so pretty and so professional gorgeous and i've only had them on since last night so i don't know how it wears or anything but um i'll let you know okay you can tell i wanted to talk to you i just I didn't have enough time and oh I wanted to do those 10 lipsticks and um, I didn't have enough time to do a tutorial though okay and I hope to see you guys maybe here tomorrow I'm headed out I've got to go to the grocery store Brooke has given me her request I've got to get the stuff for lasagna and I'm going back to Laura Mercier to get something for my friend Vicki the beauty GPS here on YouTube we're doing a, a really good swap and I wanted to get her something today before I send it out so I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.